Hey, what's up? It's Frank here from datadriven.tv, the podcast where we focus on the emerging fields of data science, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. If you'd like to think of data as the new oil, then think of us as car talk. Anyway, um, today is June 1st, and um, many people talk about these moments in their lives, um, that that kind of watershed moment, or it was that moment that kind of changed them. Um, it was about, it was two years ago, exactly today that I had my, um, on a mission from God from, that I had my on a mission from God moment, uh, <laughs> right straight out of the Blues Brothers movie. Um, I attended uh, an internal only Microsoft, um, uh, machine learning and data science summit. It's for internal, uh, employees only. At this point, I kind of knew that my job was moving to the West coast and I basically said, I can't move. And I was looking for kind of a new career because the whole Silverlight, Windows Phone, Windows 8 app development, and UWP stuff wasn't going where it was supposed to go. Um, so I was really uh, doing a lot of work on K Street um, and as part of my role in government affairs, um, basically kind of uh, doing data visualization type stuff. And at that point, my experience with data science had primarily been data visualization. Now, there's nothing wrong with data visualization, but as a software engineer um, from, the t- from the age of 12, I guess, um, in some form of capacity, I-, I just really didn't want to be writing reports or, you know, kind of cool visualizations as my only job. I wanted something more meaty or more technical. Um, that's not to say that you can't be doing um, Power BI or that sort of thing and, and not be meaty and technical, but... It wasn't really scratching the engineering building stuff itch that I had, and it was it was basically two years ago today um, that I attended uh, the keynote presentation where they talked about um, machine learning and all sorts of other um, uh, kind of the math behind artificial intelligence, the engineering that goes into training algorithms, and that was where I had my moment of this is what I want to do. Um, this is what I want to do with my life, my career, and um, that that kicked off a chain of events. And uh, what's really funny is you're probably watching this and thinking, "Hey, how come we didn't record this on um, the Data Driven channel? Data Driven didn't exist." Um, so, so basically, two years ago today, set off a chain of motion uh, that that changed my life for the better in in, in more ways than one. Um, you know, and it was really, it was really that conference that really opened my eyes to the whole field of AI and machine learning and engineering, the engineering aspects of data science, which, um, you know, is something I've been uh, obviously going deep on the last, uh, the last two years, uh, for sure, going 90 miles an hour. <laughs> um, I think I'm 25, 26 certifications in. Um, I Clearly, I found my passion. So I say this for two things. It's nothing to do with bragging, although it is something to be proud of, right? Um, but two years ago, I was in a place in my life and my career, I wasn't happy. And it's really meant to inspire you, listeners. So if you want to get into data science, just, you know what? The only way to live life sometimes is going at 90 miles an hour. Um, and once you find something to be passionate about, that's going to fuel you. That's going to push you. And the other thing is, is that I radically changed my life in the last two years um, in, in multiple dimensions and aspects. And, you know, I've lost, I think, a total of 40 pounds. Um, you know, I um, teach classes on data science. I have a podcast. So all these things didn't exist two years ago. I mean, the podcast is barely a year old. I think it's one year and um, a couple of days. And we've had 50,000 downloads. So I just want to inspire you to think about what are the things that you can do to enrich yourself and open up new doors you didn't really think existed. Two years ago, I I wasn't really sure exactly what data science was. or um, I thought it was primarily about uh, pulling in data into reports, which I got really good at by the way, not the brag, but um, coming up with data visualizations, really rich three-dimensional stuff, you know, some of that Silverlight, UWP, WPF stuff um, coming coming to the rescue, Uh, but it was really just getting into the math of it and discovering that I love math, discovering that I actually love statistics, Um, 
and it was just I discovered a side of myself I didn't know uh, I kind of suspected it was there but I mean I rediscovered kind of that, that inner geek that inner like I gotta know more you know I'm not going to sleep till I figure this out and uh, it was good to have that back and you think that you know once you hit a certain age a certain point in your career you have kids you have a wife you have a house you have dogs a mortgage etc etc that you're beyond that and that's not true totally not true as long as you got a pulse you can learn and you can be inspired so with that I'm just trying to um, pay it forward in terms of what I learned so you can go out attend that conference um, you know do something that kind of is outside your comfort zone and that's what I did I didn't know what to expect at this um, you know uh, what's actually interesting is I met some interesting folks out there I did do some networking and uh, it was it was really it was really transformative I can't underscore that enough I will post in the show notes some of the, uh, the link to the videos that I made when I was out there um, as well as the videos that I actually recorded in the Channel 9 studio which was on my bucket list of things to do while I was a a Microsoft employee, and you know, a few minutes, a few months later, I wasn't. Um, but um, but I just want to inspire folks who are out there. They're kind of thinking that they're burnt out. They don't know what they want to do next. Go do something a little bit outside your comfort zone. Um, I did that, and I got a little bit of taste of that, and that 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 adrenaline, that that, that rush, that you know, living life again, and um, um, it really changed my life. I know it's a bit of sidetrack. Some of this may not end up in the final podcast. I don't know. Um, I'll let Andy decide. Um, if you listen to the show, you know we tend to ramble. Um, it's not so much rambling as it is just tapping into that raw feed of stream of consciousness. Um, there's also cars going around where I am, so that's kind of distracting. But the key is that always be learning. And you have a great day.